Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the art class. I'm going to teach you how to draw human figures today. Because in the subsequent art lessons, I will be teaching you some composition drawings using human figures. So, let's start. Now, to draw a human figure, very, very easy way of doing always make oval for the face either you make a boy or you make a girl this is the best face shape to draw which will also look nice you can make round shape faces also but oval shape face it's easier to make eyes and uh, lips and nose other features because it provides you more area this way longer nose Lips can be drawn either simple like this and I'll teach you another way of drawing the lips. Eyes are in the shape of a leaf or almond. Now, once you do this, we've done two C's on the sides for the ears. Let's make another small C inside. Now, two lines, curved lines. Okay, not straight for the neck. Once you do the neck, close the neck. This is the neck of the dress that you're wearing. Now, once you're done with this, let's draw two slanting lines outside, which will extend outside towards outside and they will extend further, even outside this line of the face. Now, bring these two lines down. We can make the changes later as of now you do this you can make the collar or it could be a no collar t-shirt now once you are done with this let's first make the upper body children this will be easier for you it's like a rectangular or a squarish shape if you're making a shirt draw buttons to it now once you're done with this bring this line down and this line also down now we are going to complete the legs later. Let's first finish the drawing of this shirt. Okay, the sleeves could be long sleeves also. Long sleeves are easy to make. So I'm teaching you these. Now the hands. Our hands are thicker on top and then they tend to become narrower as we reach the wrist where you tie your watch. Now done. Now from here, we will open it up again, children. Look carefully. One thumb. Go back. One, two, three and four fingers. Again, see, first you draw one thumb. Alright. And then go down like this. And from here, make use, long use. One, two, three and four fingers fine now coming to the belt let's add a belt and from the center let's draw an a shape like this draw the shoes Let's make sure that both the shoes are looking similar. You can double for the sole. And a human figure drawing of a boy is complete. Similarly, you are going to make a girl. Now children, whatever extra lines while sketching we've got, we can just neatly remove them later. Now, I'll teach you how to make a girl also. Again, we can draw oval. Or a circle shape for the face. Whatever you find better. Now for the girl we are going to change the hairstyle. It could be a ponytail or it could be open hair. And similarly two ears on the sides. Whenever you have to make uh, maybe a lady or a man. We will follow the same. It's just that the size, the height is going to be different for a child and for a lady and a man. 
Now, again, two lines for the neck. Once you draw the neck, close the neck, then two slanting lines outside for the shoulders. Now, girl's sh shoulders are not going to be as broad as the boy's shoulders. So, once we do this, we bring these two lines down and then draw any dress that you would want to make for this girl. Now, children, similarly, now this time, I'm going to make the hands first. Now, again, hands, they are broad and then they become narrower as we move towards the wrist. Done. Now, hands come almost up to your thighs. You can also look at yourself in the mirror or just check. Again, thumb, go down and one, two, three and four. You can give her a watch or a bangle or a bracelet. Now, again, one thumb, go down, up, one, two, three and four. Now, children, I had told you that I'm going to teach you another shape of the lips that the shape that we actually have which is you make a M for the upper lip like this join and the lower lip is made with a semicircle. Have you understood? We've drawn a slight M and a U underneath. Now let's make a dress or skirt. Or jeans if you want to make. I've already told you how to make pants. So this could be her dress. You can make any design on the dress. Any frills on the dress. Similarly on the boy's shirt also. You can have any designs with lines. And uh, maybe some kind of form on it. Some shapes on it. Now, how to make the legs when we are making a skirt? Now, a lot of children make a mistake. They make the legs over here like this. Our legs are not the legs of a table, right? Since our waist is over here, so our legs are also going to be over here. They can't be out there. So, so the right way to make the legs of a girl... Wearing a skirt is right just below the waist to take an idea. Make two lines like this narrowing at the bottom. And then again the same way A in the center. And it becomes narrower as we reach the ankle area. Now these are the legs. You can make socks. Now you can make the shoes. Or ballerinas, whatever you want to make for her. And human figure drawing of a girl is also done. Now children, I'll be teaching you a side pose. Now to draw a side pose, let me just remove the extra lines. Now to draw a side pose, we draw one standing line or you can say a number one for the forehead. After that, we will make Inverted 7 or a ulta 7 you can say for the nose. Now once you make the nose, write a number 3. Ulta this time. Again, a mirror image of number 3 for the two lips. And join these two lips at the back like a heart shape. Fine. Then write down a little C, a curve for the chin. Now, once this is done, when we are making a boy, the head is going to be in the shape of a 7. Again, fine. And this is going to be the C for the ear. Right over here, forehead and nose, this area, you make the eyebrows. And eyes are like this. And eyeball is over here. Now, once you are done... Two lines for the neck, complete the hair. Once you make the neck, now how to make the body of a person in a side pose. We are again making the shoulders children but they are not as pointed as over here. The shoulders are slightly rounded. Fine. 
and the hand is on the side. You all can stand in front of the mirror and look at yourself. Your shoulder comes and your hand comes here when you are standing in a side pose. Now this time let's make a full sleeve shirt for the boy or a t-shirt. You can write something on the t-shirt. Again thumb and one, two, three and four fingers. Now back hand. Please wait a moment. Let's first learn the legs. Now the first leg in front is going to be like this. For the back leg we'll curve it a little and we'll bring this down. Now, children, since this leg is going to be in front, we are going to see more of this leg and less of that leg, this leg, because it's at the back. Similarly, the hand which is at the back, we are going to see very less of that hand. So, I have to bring it down up till here where the other hand is. And we can't see the entire hand. So we'll just give a suggestion of a thumb. Done. Now let's make the shoes for this boy also. And our artwork is complete. Boy is done. Now side pose of a girl. Now I'm telling you the other side pose. Standing line. Ulta 7. A number 3. Chin, join the number 3 to make a heart shape for the lips. Now, for a girl children, when we are making a side pose of a girl, eyebrows and eyes, it's little rounded. The head is going to be rounded in shape. You can make hair, you can make open hair or a ponytail whatever you wish to then again two straight lines for the neck complete the hair join the neck shoulders will again be similar to how we made the boy now the dress hand again will be over here whenever we are making a side pose and if you want to show that she's holding something in the hand, the hand becomes a L. And then again thumb and fingers. Okay. So in this hand you can just make a hold maybe some paper or anything that you would probably want to. A roll, a trophy. Then let's make the skirt back hand is going to show very little children just like we did in that boy and now we can make legs upper se broad and legs are going to become narrower as we move towards the ankles now this could make her wear boots or shoes it is totally up to you So the drawing of the girl in a side pose is also done.